Hello folks, here's another batch of the best games from Ludum Dare 48, all on the theme of Deeper and Deeper. Check out the playlist for more episodes, and subscribe now to Randomize User for more great indie games. We're starting with Abyssonaut. This is really cool. Um, if you get rid of the rocks, um, your balloon will stop going down, so you've got to make sure that there's plenty of weight on it, and you have to go deeper and deeper, and eventually steal an egg, and then ascend to the heavens. Uh, we just need to get this and break that, and we'll keep on going. Thankfully we have a jetpack. We can also kick boxes for coin. Uh, if you want, the coins don't really do much, they just give you a bit of a high score. You can go and investigate areas for new rocks and stuff like that, because the rocks can get destroyed. Right, there we go. Oop, we've got lots of horrible lads here, so we may, we'll need to start doing some kicking soon when they get near me and try to steal a, a piece of my lunch. Uh-oh! Kick! <laughs> kick! And... Kick. Oh god, how many lads are there? Bloody hell. Okay, super kick. And we've also got Goud. Get rid of you. And continue the descent. Kick! Ooh. I think we've reached the bottom. Now we just need to go and steal the egg. So what I'm going to do, just in preparation for this next bit, I'm just going to clear out through the rocks because we will need to ascend in a hurry. Okay, deep into the insect layer. And we have egg. Grab it. And grab it again. And what can possibly go wrong, eh? Uh-oh. Right, so in this section we've essentially got the bug version of rising lava below us. We mustn't let the, la the rising lava catch up with us, otherwise we're going to die. So let's get rid of all the remaining stones, and hopefully we'll start to rise. Here we go. Unfortunately, rocks are continuing to fall down upon us, so we'll need to get rid of those. And this is where, it's essentially, it's, it's a balloon defence thing, because we will get a lot of lads attacking us all at once. Here we go. Kick, and also stones will fall down, and weigh us down, and glue will pour, and it'll be terrifying. Frankly, get rid of you. Okay, here we go. Here's our first problems. Right, get rid of the sticky lads. There we are. Oh god, it's coming for us. Huh. Here we go. There we go. More sticky lads. Right. God, the goo. The goo, it comes. Hang on. Got him, Kings. <laughs> Getting far left behind. Hang on. Wait for me. Ah! My jetpack ran out. Ooh, it made it. It's. Ah! This is a very. Ex especially the last bit is a very exciting game. I really like this. This is We Have to Go Deeper, in which you have to thrust your way into the depths. Ideally, you do it in a very fast time, but you might want to take it cautiously because it's quite tough. Every time you hit a wall, or indeed a fish, you will take some damage. We have a health bar in the top right. If you want to get a good time, and people do this within 90 seconds apparently, if you want to get a good time, you've got to balance, um, well, you've got to risk, you've got to take a lot of risks. Um, I'm going to try and do a bit more of a balanced approach, I'm trying to do it fairly fast, but also um, be a bit more cautious because, yeah, hitting walls, not recommended. I so say hold mouse button and you thrust up to three units of power. Um, it's directional, but you don't need to like them. Um, it's not like a snooker queue. You don't have to like go backwards and forwards or anything. I do, I do tend to do that anyway, just because I'm used to playing a lot of like snooker-style games, especially in Ludum Dare um, situations. Oh, ow! Ugh! Don't think um, grandmother's very happy with me at the moment, or professor, <laughs> one of the two. Ah, we are now in the Atlantis zone. So, if you want to get a good time, yes, you do need to. We really do need to learn this thing, and because there are, especially in this bit where there are a lot of dead ends. And you'd have to do a lot of exploration first time around, I think. And this time, I think I, I think I remember it's up here. Um, I didn't get to the end because there's a, there's a couple of gotcha moments in this where you might get flung into a wall without, you know. Oh God, I'm not even sure I recognise this bit. This feels different to where I did before. I wonder if there are multiple routes. Oh, oh, careful. Oh, hang on. Yeah, I think last time I actually went a slightly different route and ended up getting thrust by that um, current to the right into that, into that wall there, and I died. Oh, hang on. Where are we going now? Try through here. Oh, hit the wall. Oh, there's a big a big boy bando current. Careful. Ow! Ooh, this is taking us a long way. Oh, wrong way. Uh, so the depthometer is on the right, so we're, we're nearly there. Uh, we're not going to do this in 90 seconds, but ooh, try down there. Hey, that's fast and furious. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, the currents. Oh, the currents. They're not necessarily our friend. <laughs> Ooh! Ow! I'm so close to dying now, I've got to be very careful indeed. Oh, the treasure! Found treasure! Treasure! I did it in a time that's not ideal. Still, 39th in the world. 
This is Hook, Line and Key, one of the very best fishing games, and, and there were a lot of them, in Ludum Diary 48. The whole point of this is to find a key at the very bottom of the ocean, but in the meantime, find rare fish in general. And there's a load of collectibles for you to find, all here. Uh, and let's get going. Right, so we need to cast into the sea. The depth meter is on the left, so I'm going to cast over to where the bubbles are, which is over here. I'm going to click when it hits the question mark, because there's going to be a fish there. And here we go. As soon as the red float disappears, that's when you have to strike. That was very fast indeed. And we've got ourselves a stinky seaweed. Not my kind of grass. Uh, the XP meter at the top filled up to the end and back down again, because uh, we actually upgraded our fishing rod so we can now go a bit deeper, so we can go all the way down to halfway. Right, so we can go deeper now, so let's... Oh, I think we can aim over... Wait for it. Is it still there? Yes, it is. Right, so we, we need to go all the way down to the bottom, so I'm going to wait to click, and... Click. That's very straightforward. Wait for it to disappear. Yep. Just about disappeared there, I think. And we've got a blue gill! Um, so every time you play this, you'll get different fish, and there are a lot of rare fish for you to find as well. Um, not seeing any blue myself, and our XP meter went up to about a third of the way. And, oh look, it's a green one. I think that might be means it might be a bit rarer, that one. So, doop. sometimes more than one fish bite at once, and you have to try and guess what... Oh, I, I completely didn't realise I'd get a fish there. And you have to guess which of the question marks it actually is. Oh, we've got an expensive check! The Bank of Atlantis. You can also spin the camera if you want to get every angle on your fish. In practice, it doesn't really help. <laughs> I've got myself an eel. Right, so this time we've got a choice of fish. Um, there's a yellow one over there. Um, I'm going to guess it's where those two question marks are, but it might not be. So, but if, the, if the fish don't bite... Oh, it did bite. It did bite. It was there. If the fish don't bite, I was in the wrong place. And I've got an ancient bow! <laughs> that must be rare. A relic from time long past. And um, we've still got a couple more fish for us to aim at, so... And we don't know which is going to be which. Let's go for the green one. It is! I'm getting very lucky in this playthrough. Lamprey, not the victims of lights. And we can now go to the very bottom. And strike! It's, there's only one of these, so it's got to be a good one. There we go! Where is it? Oh, it's a bluegill. Ooh. And the goldfish! Oh! Uh, I leveled up to the top, and we finished the game. Uh, lost what? The key to your heart. Where did it go? It fell overboard, sorry. You don't need that stupid key. You have every you are everything you need. The end. What did I get? So this is what I got on this playthrough. That's actually quite a lot of stuff. But I didn't get any wow. Um, last time I did it, I got a golden cup thing there. But this time, eh, I got some mythical things. I'll do. So this is Overdrilled. It's a very frantic drilling game. Oh, hang on. I need to start mining stuff out. Gold, water, and fuel. And I need to make sure that the drill itself, the big thing in the middle, is continuously topped up with those things. But I also need to repair the walls over there. Uh, and also hit the, the monster rodent-type lads. Oh, hang on. Uh, it looks like we're running out of... Hang on, let's let's spray it with some water. Cool it down. These, this meter is in the top left. Refuel it. I think everything's fine. I'm not quite sure I'm actually hitting the damn thing with the water here. I don't, in fact, I may have not even got any water in my inventory. Hang on. There's a lot to take care of. You can die. Right. There we go. I think that's sorted that out. Oh, it's the, it's the walls at the side that are the hardest thing to remember to actually do anything about. Because if they die, you die. And that's almost getting done. So... Oh, well, something's happening. Oh, is the drill... I think the water drill's getting too warm. There we go. That's sorted that out. So make sure that I'm getting everything. Oh, we're getting very far down. I need water. Move! Okay, hang on. Get the water. Ow! Bollocks. Okay, so the wall on the left um, died. See what I mean? There's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's about three things too many things to actually take care of in this. It's, um, it's very tough indeed, but a lot of fun. So let's try one more go. And this time, see if we can actually get a bit further. Because I, I, stopped, I stopped mining things because there's so much else to take care of that I just didn't get into the habit of actually doing anything. Right, here we go. Gold is probably the least important thing. I'm just mining nothing there. Right, get you. Once we're here, just get the walls. Get some more fuel. Right, rodent kill. Sort you out. The walls disintegrate so fast. This time I'm not going to concentrate too much on water or fuel until it's absolutely... Shit, right inside. Huh. God, it's so it happens so fast, and also you. Okay, now we need to now we need to refuel and re water. 
cool it down a lot. No, no, now we're fueling it. That's more like it. Go away. No. I can't get to it. Hang on. There we go. Sorted you out. Get some water sorted. Walls. Okay, this is more like it. We are starting to sort it out. There are a million controls in this as well. Like, um, everything's got a different control. Like, there's a hammer, there's a... Oh, it's... it's ugh. Okay, we need some water. Quick. I uh, think I sorted that. Fuel. No, we're, so, we're so hot. We're, we're, we're running so hot at the moment. C come back! Ah! Oh. There. Spray, 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 spray. We are s still... Oh my god, on the left. I need water. And I need... Ow! Oh, bollocks. <laughs> it blew up due to everything. Though I don't think it is just me. This is bloody hard, this. Um, but it's a lot of fun. This is underneath. And this is a tricky platformer where you essentially move by gun recoil, like this. Bang, 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 bang. Um, so, yes, fairly straightforward, um, but of course, inevitably, there will be spikes, and the game also starts to introduce weird-ass other things as well, like reflective metal plates that you, you can end up shooting yourself by, um, by hitting. So that's the first very simple screen. No dangers there. And there's also, yes, there's a... Uh, a short-term bullet timed um, sort of thing, which isn't actually that... Um, you don't actually really need to use that very often, to be honest. I mean, it's, a, it's just a nice little helper when you need it, if there's a lot of spikes around. But yes, this is, a, a, again, another, like a speed any type situation. Oh, careful. So I'll try to avoid using my slow-mo, if possible. Hang on, go off the wall. You, you do a, like an automatic wall slide! Damn it. So that would be... It, it emitted, oh my god! That would admittedly have been a good place to use my slow-mo. Oh. There we go. That's a bit more like it. And, wow. And there we go. Into the bubble. And we start above the spikes this time, so I've got to be careful. I was not careful. Careful. Round here. Round here. Get off the wall. Get off the wall. I think we're safe there. And round here. Through to there. Perfect. We have to go deeper. Upwards. <laughs> oh no! Kind of lost it there. It's fine. It's not fine. It's fine. Th oh wow. That was a, <laughs> a speculative at best, but managed to actually get where we need to be. It's a tough old game because, as I say, if you make one mistake, you go back to the beginning. And our first new mechanism, if you if you shoot that, you know, the bullet ricochets and you blast yourself, so be careful. Ooh! <laughs> Took myself out again. Right, this time, don't do anything. Let yourself land. Oh, I killed myself. God damn it! Oh my god. No! Whew. Round. Oh, thank God for that. That one took forever. It can only get easier, right? Oh, no. This is moth extraction, in which you have to extract a moth. Funnily enough, that's an ear canal, and there's a moth in the ear. It's a bit tricky to actually get this thing going. Seems like there's another way of actually holding it. You can only hold it by the blue bit, but there's also another hidden bit here, a purple bit, if you want to get some fine control, which is n eluding me at the moment. Uh, very simple, straightforward game, but very tough, because how the hell do we get the hook over the moth? Because it's not easy. Although, having said that, we may be able to tease it out. It may be... Ooh! Oh, there we go! Damn it! <laughs> Shit, I did it first time. Uh... It's supposed to be harder than that. Right, this time, let's be less good. <laughs> if we try to use the blue thing, it gets th a little trickier. I can never even get in the damn... Oh, actually, let's, let's try and go in in reverse. Uh-oh. That's made things worse. Although there's a there's, there's a bigger gap here, so I reckon. If we now go in hook first... Uh-oh, there's the brain. You've got to be careful, because if you push the moth into the brain... Um, death. There's death. At least the bloody harmonica will shut up in that case, but... So I think we have... I think the, the, the real way of doing this is supposed to be like... You're supposed to be able to hook over 
in this wide bit, and then you then you uh, slowly bring it back out again. But I don't think we. Um, I think I think the hook needs to be a bit. Uh, the hook needs to go first. Because at the moment, that's not happening. Right. 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 There we go. Now I just have to tease. It, it's oh. Okay, that's it for this selection. For more in the series, check out the playlist in the description and on the end screen. If you want to say thanks for the videos, and leave a like, spread the word, maybe drop me a tip on buy me a coffee, and see you next time!